thought it was a very competitive game. I thought it was a great game uh, uh, for us to play early in the season. I thought Memphis played extremely well and hard. Of course, when they didn't make shots, I thought we played very, very hard. And defensively, and rebound the ball, we were good. Of course, offensively, we stomped. That was a large part because of them. But, but uh, I thought it, we were fortunate to win, but I, I, I thought we did some good things, and hopefully it'll be a good teaching tool for us. Those questions right here. you feel, Coach, maybe like you dodged the bullet? I mean, is, that, is that fair? I don't you know. What do you mean? I guess it is fair to say that because they, they, they took a shot that could have won the game. But dodging bullets, not I'm not buying into that much at all. Uh, uh, this was a, uh, we dodged a bullet, you know, for, from a win win loss standpoint. But, you know, I, I, I think the last three minutes, uh, even though, you know, they kind of came back, I thought we played pretty well. I thought, I thought Mac threw in some hard shots, I thought Williams threw in some hard shots. And, and, and uh, I thought we defended them pretty well and, and certainly uh, made us, you know, do some things that we haven't really had a chance to practice much. And we actually executed fairly well. So uh, sometimes in basketball, it looks good when the ball goes in. It looks really bad when it doesn't. This was a time where we didn't play as poorly the last three minutes as what it maybe appeared because Memphis made some really hard shots. So how much of uh, Memphis shooting 34.5% be attributed to Cole making things like inside? Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I think, what did Cole have? He, he only had, a, well, he had five blocks, and I bet he altered probably five more at least, maybe maybe seven or eight. So I think he has something to do with it. I thought Cole played really well. Uh, I thought our defense, for the most part, was pretty good. Um, the, the, but, but Cole's a big reason why. But but also we're at a disadvantage sometimes because they put Cole in certain ball screen situations, which maybe he's not great at. But he protected the rim pretty good. Uh, and, and sometimes you know you can attribute to defense, and sometimes you can attribute to they just miss looks. But they, they didn't get that many good looks. I, didn't think. I don't think we got a lot of good looks either. Back to uh, Coach, how do you think their athleticism, especially with Williams and Coleman uh, down the post, affected you guys tonight? Well, I didn't think Williams played in post. No, I mean yeah. Coleman in post. Yeah, Coleman. I don't know what the correct word to describe you. I mean, that dude is as athletic as anybody. I mean, he's a, he's really athletic, and, and uh, uh, he really went upstairs when he got the goaltending call late. Uh, but we knew that we won't play a team like that. Uh, you know, whenever whenever they they started the game with Mac at the four, <clears> supposedly. Or, and then, and then our six, nine guys got to guard him. You, know, you know, I, that, that's, that's a big advantage for us inside. And, and, and what you do in that situation is you hope that your pressure negates them going inside, which is exactly what they did. And then from, from an offensive standpoint, they, they put our big guys guarding when they're not used to guarding. So I think their athletic ability, I mean, athletic uh, talent definitely gave us problems for the majority of the night. Did uh, Collins have cramps, and did he have to go and get an IV? It looked like maybe the second time. Uh, I think he did. I didn't ask him. I just said make the second. <laughs> so so, <laughs> uh, 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 so uh, I, 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 I think he did go get I, an IV. Uh, you know, I, I, he's he's really been in good shape. This is the first time I can remember him cramping up since really early in his career. Uh, but but certainly our our game changed dramatically. You know, when, when he's out of the game now. You need guys just to be sound and just pass it around enough to where you get a big touch, and that's when guys that weren't playing as well we made individual plays, which is a terrible time. So this will be a great teaching team for us. Well, I thought, you know, I tell you what, Marquis played great defense on, on Mac or Williams when he made the one before that. I mean, they threw in some, some things, some shots late. <coughs> I thought our I thought our defense was pretty good, but but we did defend the last deal pretty good, and and uh, you know if I was going to I thought Cole played well, I thought Sharon played well, but the twins I thought played great. I thought the twins both played great. It's it's up in, and Thomas didn't get a chance to play because he plays and Tom and Cole can't because uh, you know he can't chase a guard around. So so uh, uh, but I, I thought those 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 four players played pretty well.
Bill, is there one thing you need to do better defend, uh, offensively or the number of things? One? <laughs> Did you watch the same, same crap I did out there on this? Uh, uh, I mean, I, could you pinpoint one thing? How about I, that? I, I would say uh, just, just the basic. Uh, we don't really understand yet how we're going to score. It's amazing to me how one person taking out your lineup changes how the ball moves. And, and that's the case. I mean, we, we miss Brady from that standpoint. Uh, but but we don't understand really how to score, or where to score from, or where our shots are coming from, uh, and 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 we have we have individuals that are good players. I mean, they're really good players. And as a coach, it's kind of that fine line. You want them to be aggressive, but they got to understand maybe they're not the best players, and and the ball needs to move. And and we'll be so much better when the ball moves up, uh, and you get the ball to the second and third side, and give our big guys a chance to touch and play behind that. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get better. But that's very correct. I, I think. Three more questions. One, One two, two, and three. Go. Uh, hey, Coach, you talk about a little bit about Ty Sean's struggles tonight with seven turnovers. You, have, you did have five assists, though. But he, he had, yeah, that, this was not Ty's night at all. So, so uh, uh, didn't think that, uh, that that's he's better than Lee. With all the uh, early turnovers, did you make a concerted effort to get the ball to Cole there in the, late in the first half? Well, we made a concerted effort from the bench uh, to get the ball to him, but they, nobody ever threw it to me, and I could pass it in there. So, so, so it was up to the guys. You know, that's what pressure does. They, they forget about you. They, they, it makes you not do what you're supposed to do. And, and, and I thought that we were really sped up. I mean, some of the plays we made in transition, and oh, we were so sped up. And, and uh, but still, with, as poorly as we were offensively, you know, you go in plus six, and then we get to plus ten. And then Marcus plays unbelievable defense on uh, Witherspoon, if I'm not mistaken. He throws in one falling down. And then the next possession, Sharon dribbles off his knee, and they get an uncontested basket. And all of a sudden, 10, the breathing room goes to 6, and the collar gets a little tight. But, but we, 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 we made a, uh, an effort to tell our guys to get it inside. I don't, think that, I don't think we did as well as we could, but when we did, good things happened. Final question. Do you think Sharon was a little tentative today? He only had eight shots and I didn't play much in the second half, but especially in the first half, a little bit too? Uh, well, you know, when, when I don't think so. Uh, uh, tentative is, you know, when, when teams are pressuring and they, they do certain things, you know, his job as a point guard is to play the right way. And I thought I thought that he, he did a pretty good job for the most part. Uh, he, he's a guy that, that shouldn't take a lot of shots early. He's a guy that should take all his majority of his shots late. And, and unfortunately, he wasn't in the game late. So, you know, if he'd been in the game, I'm sure we would have just tried to isolate he and Cole together a lot. Thanks a lot.